Hello and welcome to Physics Problems one by one. So here is a problem. As always, read it, maybe once, maybe twice, and then pause the video and try to solve it yourself. Uh, today's problem is about two boys throwing ball, ball to each other. And all we know is that time it takes four seconds for the ball from this guy to this guy, and then from this guy to that guy. So, it takes four seconds to fly. We don't know which angle they are throwing. Maybe this is this angle. Maybe this is this angle. Maybe this is 45 degrees. We don't know. All we know is that they are standing on the ground. This is ground. And throwing ball, and from here to here, it's four seconds. And of course we can say that it's parabola, but we don't know the angle, we don't know V0, we don't know. We know time and they ask for the maximum height. So what it is, this, this or this. Of course they are coming from the same middle point, but I draw it specifically, so not to overcrowd it. Uh, it's very straightforward problem. If we we'll recall that those are two separate motions. The motions of a vertical line is acceleration, free fall and acceleration is G and it's directed down. And the motion of a horizontal line is constant speed. And we also should remember that as the body goes up in this direction, it reaches maximum point and turns back and comes back and when it comes back, the body is here because during all this time it's also moving in this way. So, time up and the height up is determined exclusively by vertical motion and vertical motion is a motion with acceleration. So, what can be said about that? We can say that the time it takes to go up is exactly the same as the time to go down. So, we immediately know that time is actually t over 2. We know that it would be 2 seconds, right? So, time up and time down. Uh, we also know that the height, which formula can be used for the height, and there are several formulas. First of all, we can use, of course, we can use v final squared minus v zero squared divided over 2a. And second formula we can use for the distance height, true, we can use the formula Distance from here to here is initial speed over time minus gt squared over time. We can use this formula for sure. This is not straightforward because there are too many things that we don't know. Final, v0. This one is a little bit better. We don't know V0, but we know T, and T is 2 seconds, and T over 2. So this is a little bit better. But let's use this formula for pause. Right. Not for the part that we go up, but for the part that we go down. Right? So, the part that we go down, because it's the same distance, but there is no this thing. And we also know the time is the same time to come down. So, I suggest to use this formula. On the way down, height equals initial speed going down, vertical direction is zero. So, nothing here. Acceleration goes with us, we go from here to here. So this is the distance g t squared over 2. t is known, and we can put, if t is 4 seconds, t small is 2 seconds, 
and we can put G10, I always put 10, not 9.8, but you of course welcome to put 9.8 and this probably would be better for your teacher and we should respect our teachers. T squared would be 4, it would be 40 divided over 2, it's 20 meters, it's quite high. So, it flies for a long time and it reaches the height of 20 meters. And that's basically it. Um, hope you liked it. And uh, if so, click like. Uh, if you're interested in more problems like that, I will put shortly a couple other problems about two-dimensional kinematics. So for that, subscribe and bell. And if you have some other questions, don't hesitate to ask me. Thank you.